Hello and how are you? Welcome to our session on substages of Profess 1. My name is Winnie Barawa. This is an extrapolation class from the meiosis uh, process because Profess 1 is part of the stage of meiosis 1. So we shall explain in details what happens during Profess 1 and the different substages that occur in this phase. So Profess 1, generally, this is the stage in meiosis 1 where chromosomes begin to condense and pair up through a process we call synapses. The synapses process allows exchange of genetic materials or genetic segments that we call the allele. And after successful exchange of these materials, we call this crossing over. And in the prophase phase, that is prophase one, the nuclear membrane also breaks down and exposes our homologous chromosomes, which will later be used to be separated to the different poles. So prophase one, is being said to be longer than the mitotic phase prophase. And because of this, the prophase one in meiosis is divided into five substages. These substages are as follows here. We have stage one that is called leptotin, zygotin, pachetin, diplotin, and diakinesis. So these are the stages that make up Profess 1 of the meiosis 1 process. So, but the summarized processes is that in this Profess 1 stage, there will be synapses, crossing over, nuclear membrane breakage, and establishment of the asters that will produce the microtubules for the spinal fibers to help with separation of the chromosomes, the homologous chromosomes at anaphase phase. So explanation of the substages in Profess 1, this is how it happens. In the stage 1 or in the substage 1 that we call leptotin, it is at this stage that the chromosomes focus on condensing and becoming visible. That's what this stage all happens. It it's focuses on condensations and visibility of the chromosomes. In the zygotin stage, we are being explained that the chromosomal synapses, this is where they occur, pairing together of these homologous chromosomes, forming a complex known as synaptonemal complex. Synaptonemal complex. And in the pairing of these synapses homologous chromosomes, we form what we call bivalent or tetrad. And bivalent or tetrad, it's a case whereby we have four sister chromosomes of or paired homologous chromosomes. Then we have the pachetin substage. At the pachetin substage, this is the state whereby the non sister chromatids of the homologous chromosomes have crossed over at the recombination nodules. So the sister chromatids in our tetrads, they are able to cross over, creating the synapse or synapses and allowing exchange of these uh, genetic materials. When this successful crossing over has taken place and the sister chromatids have exchanged the genetic materials, we get to have the stage patching. This is now where the non-sister chromatids of the homologous chromosome are crossing over at the combination nodules. And this is the same stage where chiasma or chiasmata comes out. Then we have the diplotin stage where we are being told that at this stage, the synaptonemal complex starts to dissolve the bivalents are separating except at the site of crossover and the X-shaped structures formed during the separations are now being called chiasmata. So this is the stage where we are starting to complete the process stages. We are finalizing on it. So the complex starts to dissolve. 
the bivalents are separating from each other except where the site of Kosova occurred and this is the site where we are calling it the chiasmata. That part remains or rather we don't exchange the materials back to where they were, they remain after the successful exchange. And in the last phase we have the kinesis and this is the last subphase of our process one. So the chiasmata here terminates and the spinal fibers are emerging from the centrosomes with the main purpose of separating the homologous chromosomes. So the nucleolus disappears and our nuclear envelope breaks down. So those are the five stages that are happening in our process one. From leptotin closing up at diakinesis. And so these are the stages. Substage one is leptotin, followed by zygotin, pachytin, diplotin, and diakinesis. So in the leptotin, this is where the process begins. And we say that leptotin, this focus on chromosomes starting to condense and becoming visible. At zygotin, there is formation of synapses. Then we form, as a result of that, we form complexes that are called synaptonemal complexes. At the pachytin uh, stage, there's crossing over, and in this crossing over, the DNA is exchanged uh, by the non sister chromatids. And in the diplotin, the synapsis ends, and the chiasma be becomes visible within the bivalence. So lastly, the last stage is dikinesis, and in dikinesis, this is the last stage. The process is ending, the nuclear membrane now has disintegrated, and the spinal fibers have started to attach. And this is a further summary again to just help us understand it better. So leptotin, chromosome condensing and becoming visible. We have zygotin, the homologous chromosomes are coming close together, giving us the synoptonemal complexes. And at the pachytin, there's been a successful crossing over of the chromatids. And at the diplotin, the synoptonemal uh, complexes are disintegrating and the chiasma is appearing. So the last bit is diakinesis. And this is the stage where the homologous chromosomes moves further. The chiasma becomes more prominent and the nuclear membrane now disappears, indicating the last stage of PROFESS 1. So this is a summary of the stages that PROFESS 1 goes through. Leptotin, zygotin, pachytin, diplotin, and diakinesis. That marks the end of our class. Thank you for being here all the way to the end. Kindly comment what your thought about this class is. Give it a like, share, and also subscribe if you've not yet done that. Thank you so much and see you in our next lesson.